Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. This is my September 2020 monthly highlights. I know this is ancient. It was several months ago, but I am determined to finish all of my monthlies from 2020 and to kind of complete my Erin Condren planner. So fingers crossed that I reach that goal soon. Anyways, this kit is by Jackson Pepper and my code with her is Rachel15. I am obsessed with these colors and conveniently enough i had a lot of florals that were a part of a freebie from jackson pepper that i kept in my reusable sticker book and it matched this kit so perfectly i was very happy it was kind of like having deco without even planning it so it worked out anyways i'm gonna go ahead and start on the first day i will fill out the two days before the month with some deco at the end so i'm really tired right now and i feel like my energy is super low. <laughs> I might have a cup of coffee, like a midday coffee, probably have a nap or a snack. I don't know which one I want to do. It wouldn't make sense to have a coffee and then sleep, but you know, I can actually do that. Coffee, I have a very high tolerance to coffee, which I don't know if it's a very good thing. <laughs> so on the first, I went ahead and marked grilling and making kimchi. So I used a grill from Crafts by Towie. And the tennis shoe on the second is from Planning World. The side bows that I use throughout the spread are from Sadie Stickers. So like I was saying, I hopefully have the energy and will get the energy to work out soon. I am so tired. It's truly a lazy Sunday, except for what's lazy for me because I still have been editing videos, filming, all of that jazz today. So I haven't really taken a break. But um, yeah, I mean, I think planning and filming is quite lazy, but it still work because I'm doing a lot for my channel. Anyways, on the third, I marked that Honey Inked had a reopening and a sale. So I used one of her leaf deco pieces and two hearts from Clarigal Crafts. On the fourth, I worked out and I used a really cute like outfit from Crafts by Towie. That hanging heart is from the Pretty Pink Co. And the other heart is from Tassel Planner, who's no longer open. I did use a lot of my reusable stickers. As you'll see, I am pulling out my reusable sticker book often throughout the spread. It was very satisfying to use what I had in my collection, so I wasn't pulling too many like boxes from full quarter sheets in my collection, which I don't mind doing, but I was really determined to utilize a lot of my leftover stickers and kind of make it match or find a lot of matching boxes. It was a challenge as you'll see here. I tried my best to find the right pinks and the right blues and grays, but I think it still turned out really pretty like as a whole. So that's the beauty of monthly spreads. I feel like you can make things not perfect, but as a whole, it looks really pretty. So on the fifth, as I already passed, I marked a birthday using, I'll mark birthdays using all bow strong boxes from The Giving Girl, the birthday scripts that came with the kit, and some of the floral deco from Honey Inked, and that cake that I used was from Crafts by Towie's birthday sampler sheet. So on the sixth, I, those shoes are um, from Planning World, and then the yoga mat is from Crafts by Towie, and then I marked Labor Day, and that scallop is from Panda Bird Design. I find that putting down the date dots during like monthlies is easier while I'm actually doing the day because I don't know if like the box will cover the day. So this has been working for me a lot better. And the plans change script is a custom from Panda Bird Design. So this was actually our very first plans change episode, which I cannot believe it was that long ago, but it was super nostalgic to like market. It was awesome. And I can't believe we have done so many episodes since then. The bow is from Panda Bird Design. Again, the same little combination here to mark um, a birthday. And then those heart balloons are from Crafts by Towie. So on the 9th, as you saw, I used a uh, half box from Peach Palm. And I do like using traditional half boxes for a weekly kit in my monthly because it doesn't take up the full width of like the monthly box. So it does add some white space throughout and I tried my best to cover up like the pumpkins and such with a flag from the kit and then the noodles bow or sorry the noodles bowl the noodles bow bowl try saying that fast from crafts by Towie and those heart or bow strung like fairy lights are all from the giving girl. So on the 10th I used one of the full boxes that actually go with the kit to mark that we grabbed sushi. The sushi is from crafts by Towie. I think you guys kind of get the gist a lot of my icons are from her shop. But um, I still like to say it because I feel like there are some other shops that have similar icons and they're all kind of different in their own way, but the same, I guess, I don't know. Does that make sense? So on the 11th, I wanted to mark Patriot's Day. Um, so doing that, I just, I cut down 
the holiday script. I think that looked really pretty, like offsetting it over a floral deco from the kit. And then I wanted to pull in some more of that really deep blue. So I used a heart accent from Rose Colored Days and then I cut down the rest of that flag. So on the 14th, I'm using a third box from Panda Bird Design. This is a shopping bag from White Deer Stationery. Again, I was trying my best to use a lot of my leftover stickers in my sticker book. That way I wasn't pulling from like full sheets. I think those utensils are from Paper Muse Crafts from a sampler. All right, so on the 13th, I used another scallop. All of these are from Panda Bird Design and I wanted more of that pink floral behind it. So I did cover up the holiday script and the custom script is from Panda Bird Design as well as that bow. So it's like a whole Panda Bird Design combination, which I love. And then this is a bow circle from a leftover kit from Panda Bird Design to just mark that my mom made some arascaldo, which is a Filipino dish. I've been really loving doing like heart doodles throughout my spreads. So that's been really fun. On the 14th, I wanted to mark a workout. I tried my best to like make the workouts my highlights of the day but some day some days I had better highlights I feel like but I really like seeing like an overview of my workouts I don't know why it's just kind of satisfying especially because like I, I feel accomplished I guess so the tennis shoe is from crafts by Towie and the tv console is from paper muse crafts we watched lord of the rings it was just one of those nights where we just put something random but I love lord of the rings so um yeah <laughs> on the 15th we went on a walk and that is a deco piece from Jackson Pepper. That third box is from Panda Bird Design and the utensils or like the little plateware that's from White Deer Stationery with a tasseled planner heart. This icon is from Crafts by Towie to mark that I had a chiro appointment and I've been, I think this is when I started going to the chiropractor a lot and yeah, I think it shows because I went like three times or something this month. So I used another leaf deco piece. The, da, 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 da. the kettlebell is from Crafts by Towie and the workout script is from Letters to Apollo. So whatever this voiceover is, is what you guys are going to get. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Again, like I said, I seriously, I need a nap. I really do just want to take a nap. Um, I think these past couple of weeks, it's just been raining constantly and I'm just, and it sucks because it's actually really nice out today, but I just, I'm so drained. I don't know why. So on the 17th, we, um, or who's we, um, I got all dolled up and I used a set of eyelashes from Crafts by Towie and I felt like that was really cute to just mark. So here, all of these third boxes are from Panda Bird Design. The nail polish is from Crafts by Towie. I must have been half asleep when I was doing this spread because I didn't even write down like doing my nails in that uh, little quarter box. So I'll probably do that later. I don't know. Ruth he passed away this day, so I just wanted to mark that. And on the 19th, I used a rectangular bowstrung box or bowstrung rectangular box to um, to mark that we had mod pizza and duck donuts. We went with two of our closest friends and then I just layered some of the like leaf deco piece from Honey Inked behind that. I think that turned out really pretty. And then the hearts are from Simply Watercolor Co. So on the 20th, I used a car doodle from White Chair Stationery to mark that I washed our cars and then we went on a family walk afterwards. I'm going to use a Crafts by Towie flourish. I love these flourishes. They are so pretty. And then this is just a smaller bow from Panda Bird Design. I love those on white. I think they look amazing and they just are so, so pretty. I love the design. On the 21st, I used a GP Studio like post-it and just to go ahead and mark that we grabbed ice cream, so I used a yogurt cup. I know it's yogurt technically, but it could be ice cream. You can make it whatever you want. And then that is a like faux bow washi from Simply Watercolor Co. So I just found out, unfortunately, GP Studio is no longer open um, from what I've heard from other people. And then I try to find her shop and I can't find it. So just FYI. So on the 22nd, uh, we grabbed Starbucks and I used a cup from Rosen Tea Shop. The Starbucks run script is from The Glitter Mama. And then the autumn begins is from the kit. So I'm going to play around with this because it was too empty and I was like, I have nothing else to mark. So I'm going to pull in some hearts from Clever Gal Crafts because naturally that's what you do is you use hearts or bows or at least that's what I do. And just to fill up like the empty white space. I really love those scripts from the Glitter Mama. They're awesome. I love how dainty they are and that they're really long. So on the 23rd, I didn't know what to mark, so I just used some deco that came with um, the kit as well as with uh, Honey Inked. So actually, no, that was a leftover sampler from Jackson Pepper, but it matches the kit. And then these tiny little accents are from Simply Watercolor Co. 
on the 24th. This is where I found out that I actually didn't write anything because this is the next day I started filming this. And I was like, well, I guess I was falling asleep while I was planning this. So I filled it out. On the 24th, we grabbed poke and then I used some utensils again from White Deer Stationery. I tried to keep it cohesive as much as possible. And I just love that doodle. It's so pretty. And then I will also put a leaf deco piece here later. So on the 25th, I grabbed Starbucks again, and then I did the same little combination, trying to keep it all consistent here. And we grabbed, I think we grabbed kava this night as well. Um, really good. I think kava is delicious, but it can get pricey. It's basically like a Mediterranean version of Chipotle, so I think it's pretty good. And then we also watch The Boys. So here I love this like paint swatch box from Miss Meow. I think this was a freebie with some of her like winter kits and orders and I just covered the snowflakes with um a tv console from crafts by Towie so <laughs> I've been doing winter spread so I was like trying to remind myself that this is not a winter spread <laughs> so I'm really glad I remembered to at least cover that up so I used a third box here I can't remember which kit that's from but I did use like some of the deeper blues as a border to mark my dad's birthday and I used some oh my gosh there's a piece of deco or there's a piece of sticker cut that's on the balloons. How did I not catch that? Oh, I'm staring at it right now. Okay. It's not coming off. All right. It's fine. So I used more like bow hanging lights from the Given girl. And then on the 27th, I marked plans change. Uh, I didn't realize that we did three episodes this month. I think that's how much we enjoyed it because we did it on Labor Day and then we did it again that following weekend and then again in two weeks. So I guess we really just had a good time and we were happy and you guys were um, enjoying it as well. So really, really happy about that. That is a flourish on the 27th from the Pretty Pink Co. On the 28th, I marked Starbucks, same thing. And then I used some more shoes from Planning World to mark that we went on a walk. I really hope Planning World releases $2 Tuesdays again soon because she's got amazing quality $2 Tuesdays, such a good steal for how much you get on a sheet and the high, high quality of her stickers. Her foiling is so, is so good. So on 29th, I got a really awesome gift from Tao of Crafts by Towie, and I was just so blown away that she would give that to me. I just thought this was really pretty and perfect to mark that. And um, yeah, I still have it. I have not lit the candle yet because it's too pretty. <laughs> it's too bougie. <laughs> so I used a icon from her shop as well as the flourish from her shop. And those heart accents are from Simply Watercolor Co., I watched The Social Dilemma because I think we were doing a plans change episode on that. So I was trying to get on that for Tay and we had poke again this night. So yeah, that pretty much is the spread. And then this is a flourish from Panda Bird Design. So I think I'm going to hop back to the beginning of the month or the days before the month. And I used a lot of honey inked deco pieces. I thought this turned out so pretty. I had no idea what to do in this space because I didn't have washi that matched this and I don't know. I think washi can look really boxy and rectangularly, like rectangular, you know what I mean? So I think this turned out really pretty. A lot of those stars um, are from my leftover sticker book and it turned out really nice. And as well as these deco pieces, it was just so perfect. Like I could not, not use them. So yeah, this is probably my favorite part of the entire spread is this little section here. It's so cute. And then, yeah, so if you have any questions about where the stickers are from, please comment below. Here are the leftover stickers. And one more thing, I didn't realize how empty the bottom part looked. So I did use a lot of these leaf deco pieces from Hun Inked just to jazz it up a little bit and make it look really extra pretty. But my measurements were super off because I wasn't even measuring. So <laughs> you'll see at the end that I cut off the second half of this leaf piece, which I'm kind of mad at myself about. But did I want to take undo out? No, I did not. And did I want to deal with that? No, certainly did not. So here is everything. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.